Now, there are plenty of things about the Nintendo Switch that has people concerned and has people worried about different stuff. But one thing that I'm not comprehending, one thing I'm not understanding is this false sense of the Nintendo Switch is more than what it costs. The Nintendo Switch costs $2.99 no matter if you get the color bundle or if you get the uh, the non-color bundle. And what I mean by bundle, I mean just the hardware itself. It comes with nothing but the hardware and the different things that it comes with. With the dock, the two Joy-Cons, the grip, and then the little Joy-Con straps, right? $2.99. You have everything you need to play a game on the Switch out the box. I don't know why it doesn't say here, but it also comes with the power cord and obviously and all the things you need to hook the switch up with too but anyway you have everything out of the box for the switch to operate turn on and work then you need to buy a game to play on the switch obviously you, you know let's just say the highest game is fifty nine ninety nine with tax that's like sixty five dollars right so you're looking around i'm not sure what two ninety nine is plus tax let's just say it rounds up to about three hundred twenty bucks then you put that 65 one in, like you're paying, let's just say, 380 almost $400 for the Switch and the game. What people are running around here doing, and I don't know why they're doing this, because it's like they want the Switch to be more than what it costs. Let's, let's, go, let's go to the Nintendo Switch and buy now, right? What they're doing is, people are saying some shit like this. Well, you have to buy a Pro Controller. No, you don't. What do you need a pro controller for? You have a controller when you get the motherfucker. It comes with a controller. It comes with two controllers, really. But, you know, you put them two controllers together and it equals what would be equivalent to one whole entire controller. But it comes with that out of the box. You don't need this. You don't need this. This is extra. Then I'm hearing also people saying, well, you have to buy two extra Joy-Cons. Why? You don't need two extra Joy-Cons. Now, obviously, if you have more people that's supposed to be using this unit, well, then, yeah, you might want to get two, but the people are just automatically saying that people are going to have to buy two extra more Joy-Cons. No, you're not. That's the case-by-case -case scenario. Me, personally, no one's going to be using my Switch but me. If someone comes over and they want to play the motherfucker, they just use what I use. I am doubt if I'll be playing with other people on the Switch. I'm not playing 1-2-Switch. <laughs> and even if I did, I can you play one two switch with the two controllers that it comes with. So again, why do I need two extra Joy Cons? You may need two extra Joy Cons, but I don't. But see, this is the thing. I'm not talking about your personal needs. I'm talking about people are acting as if out of the box you would have to still buy this pro controller. You would still have to buy two extra Joy Con grips uh, and Joy Con controllers. And for some reason, some people are saying that this don't come with the machine when it does. But whatever. People tell me I got to buy extra extra everything. The only thing they're saying they got to buy extra is an extra fucking dock. I am not comprehending this stuff. I did hear, no, I did hear, I think Jay told me that he would get an extra dock because he said he would want to, um, you know, instead of having to unplug the dock and move it to another TV, he'll just want another dock to be there. But again, that's just extra shit. You don't need that shit for the motherfucker to turn on, work, operate, and perform. You can buy a Switch, two ninety nine, buy a game, it's over. It's done. People saying you're going to have to upgrade your memory. If you're buying cartridges, no you won't. The games play off the cartridge. My 3DS, which has SD card in it. The SD card in my 3DS is used for... One thing, it is used for my digital games. That's it. If I didn't buy digital, unless there's some game that I'm not aware of that requires you have an SD card, which I don't think that exists, you don't need an SD card. The games save on the cartridge. They play off the cartridge. You don't install the games, and the Switch works the same way. You don't install the games. You don't need an SD card. And even if you did need an SD card, it comes with an SD card. Anyway, I just wanted to put that out here, people. Peace out. Keep gaming.